Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Robson. So I'm taking my free writing that I did to talk about my ideas about yeah. theme out loud based on the poem by Sherman Alexie, Victory. And at this point, I want to be getting to a theme statement. So I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a clarifying, flying, clarifying, flying, clarif uh, clarifying process. Um, that I'm going to be doing to finally get to the theme. So if you remember, in my pre-writing note, I focused on the idea of victory. Victory as a theme topic that I think is very important to the poem. And the reason is because the title is Victory, but also, you know, there's the mention of Nike, the goddess of victory, and it's just a weird uh, situation because why is it called victory when there's all these failures? And I'm going to start to think about what the author Sherman Alexie is trying to say about victory through his yeah. poem. And here's what I'm thinking out loud. Okay, victory is, um, is not just about material, about material or social success, yeah. you know? Um, like, for example, Jesus was not a social or material success, mm -hmm. and the boy wasn't a social or material oh, success, but he was victorious, right? And how was he victorious? You know, both Jesus and the boy were morally victorious, you know, um, morally or spiritually victorious. Okay, well then how? Question next us question is how? Well, Jesus, mm -hmm. we talked about this already. Jesus was victorious over sin, over original sin. Um, he was victorious against, uh, you know, he kept going. He, he was he was victorious against his persecutors, mm -hmm. which were both the, the Romans and the uh, Pharisees. Uh, and so... He was victorious because he kept going up until the cross, of course. And the boy, well, he was victorious spiritually or morally as well because, you know, he repented. He, he recognized what, what he did was wrong and he threw his Nikes um, into the river. Um, and the Nikes, you could say, represented, you know, commercial or, <coughs> excuse me, material societal success because, you know, they're a popular brand, they're concrete objects, but he threw them into the river. And that's interesting, isn't it? The water of the river, which is a, water is a common religious symbol. When we, for example, um, go into church, we uh, touch the holy water and we uh, make the sign of the cross, right? So the water has uh, connotations or symbolic meaning possibly here of, of, of moral cleansing. So he repents, but also he doesn't give up, right? <laughs> we know that he uh, sucks at basketball before he throws away the shoes, but also after. So there's another spiritual and moral victory. Okay, so let's put this all together. In society's view, possibly somebody is victorious when he or she is a, a commercial or financial success. Now it has nice clothes, has a nice car, and so on. But this is a different victory that the boy and his and his and his family won, but particularly the boy, right? So that says something. So I'm going to start uh, brainstorming rough draft uh, theme statements. So, putting it all together, I'm going to say, okay, um, while society uh, celebrates. See what I did there? A little bit of alliteration. Even though they're different letters, same sound. While society yeah. celebrates uh, material or mm, social material possessions or social status okay. as markers of personal victory. Uh, Alexi argues that the greatest victory is moral or 
are spiritual. Holy man, that's a good one, I think. So we're going to summarize here. Um, victory, victories that matter most, most, um, happen inside the heart. Or just happen inside because that represents the moral spiritual so that is the final theme I'm mm -hmm. going to go with so you see what I did there what I did was I narrowed down my thinking until I came up with a brief statement that has a topic and opinion in it and I could explain this with a longer theme statement if I wanted to all right thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video